In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the math seal or math sealing uh, function in JavaScript. And the math, math seal basically stands for ceiling. And the ceiling is the top of your house or, or at least the, the top of your room, basically. So that's the ceiling. So what it basically means is it will start to round a value or a number up to the highest value possible so if it's 9.1 it will by default go up to 10 even though you would say if you round it up or if you round it it should go down because 9.1 equals 9 it's close nearest is 9 but that's not the case with seal with seal or ceiling you force javascript to give the command to push it up to the highest value so let's start and explore exactly how you use this so for example here we have a variable or a constant, and this constant is the price of milk. So we say price of milk, and our milk in the supermarket will have the price of uh, 1.12. So it's a quite decent price, small pack of milk, fair enough. So once we have this, we do the console log, console.log, so we can echo out or return the value here that's probably more proper way to say it because echo is used more in php so we turn we return the value in the console log so the moment we do that we save this we refresh here you see nothing happens but if you open up our developer tab you can see now we get 1.12 all right so that's exactly what we did and you can see here right now it's blue and the reason why it's blue now it means that the developer tab or this is in google chrome understands it is considered a a number it's not an integer yet integer is only a one digit here and there's no decimal uh, values in the number so we have to convert it to an integer by using the math math ceiling function in javascript so let's start and do that so we can see here let's put in here console.log and let me put in here milk but what we're going to do now is we say math make sure the math is with a capital letter M and then we have here seal for sealing now we close this with parentheses and then save this so the moment we save you see that now the console log will force the math seal automatically to the highest value so if you refresh here by default it goes up to two dollars even though we are so close to the one dollar it goes up to two dollars so what happens if we are even here 0.2 to refresh here you can see even if it's 0 uh, 1.02 so it's two cents only it goes up by default if you do one let's see what happens here same story so by default everything here is considered this value here if we are here on 99 oh, this will also go up all right so once you have this what is also important to remember is if you have a negative number negative number we save this you see here it will work exactly the opposite of what you expect because if you see this here what is the value you think it will become you will say two dollars or minus two dollars and what if i would say it's exactly the opposite it will become minus one dollar so let's refresh here and you will see here now it becomes minus one dollar so now you say why is it exactly the opposite the logic would not make sense well they have a different type of logic what they're looking at here the ceiling would be the um, the closest to the top and in this case the top here for the negative is the one and what, uh, what i mean by that is it will go farther away or it will always go to the highest one so let me explain this so this is quite hard to explain it doesn't make sense so basically what we want if we have 1.9 it will become 2 yes so it is as closest closest to the positive all right so if you understand this this is the closest to positive it always push it up to the positive so 1 or minus 1.9 the closest to the positive is 1 while the farther you are from the positive and the farther yeah, or the further away further away you are from positive it would become two so right now because the ceiling will always go closest to the positive so closest to the positive in a negative number 
is close or nearer nearer to zero i hope this makes sense because this is very important so basically it goes to zero so what is nearer to the zero or close to the positive well minus 1.99 in the ceiling will be mean will, would be minus one because it's closest to the zero and you probably figure out now if you have the other one where we have the floor exactly the opposite works so basically this is the opposite of the opposite but not because of its opposite i hope you figured that one out that sounds maybe too too complicated but basically if you understand closest to the positive so if this is closest to the positive always going up then this one here must always go up in positive sense as well so this is so what the the ceiling does it will do the uh, here what it does here it will do exactly the opposite here down so and understand it just by saying the zero i would say this, you could say this is the exactly opposite of the response of the positive way and that is correct but it makes sense if you understand that logic all right so i hope you you could follow along with this one because this is quite important to understand especially if you're using this However, most of the time you'll be using more the round, which will round it up or down by default, which makes far more sense most of the time. So if we would do this around, let's save this, you will see here, it will just go to minus two, which makes sense. It's far more closer than going to minus one if the value is minus 1.99. However, if you like these kind of videos with some uh, weird tricky ways of exploring JavaScript, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this and i don't blame you because this is quite tricky to understand put them in the comment section below and if you like to explore chart.js check out my udemy course in the description box below